the youngest billionaire in the world. Mm -hmm. Is that heady when you hear that? You know, it's, it's not what matters. Um, what matters is how well we do in trying to make people's lives better. I mean, that's, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I work the way that I work. And that's why I love what I'm doing so much. That's Elizabeth Holmes, the former CEO of Theranos, jury convicted of fraud over her lies and promises. And if she was like anybody else, she would be serving her 11-year jail sentence. Sentenced to 11 years, but she's out. Liz Holmes wants you to forget about Elizabeth. The black turtlenecks are gone, so is The Voice. As the convicted Theranos founder awaits prison, she's adopted a new persona, devoted mother, with the help of the New York Times, who gave her a glowing profile that lays out the tale of two Liz's. Elizabeth, inventor, entrepreneur, in office by 5 a.m., vegan, no alcohol, low voice, that's gone. The New York Times is introducing you to Liz, devoted partner, mother of two, volunteer for a rape crisis hotline, soft-spoken. The Liz that we do like, Elizabeth Pran is here. Media turned her into a celebrity because she was a woman, right? Nora O'Donnell, everybody else loved her. And now the New York Times is making her a victim because she's a woman. I don't get it. Victim. Wow. Isn't that a good, isn't that a good takeaway, Leland? Yeah. I mean, she has been captivating us from the early 2000s. So let's take a look at this article. First and foremost, she hasn't talked to the media or spoken to the media in what, almost six, seven years. So as a journalist, you have to be skeptical. Why is she talking to me, right? There was not a lot of skepticism if you go through this 5,200 word article. I want to start with this first line that she writes. So obviously it's very lengthy, the first line. Elizabeth Holmes blends in with other moms mom's here with her bucket hat and sunglasses. So I took a pause, Leland, I thought to myself, oh, maybe a, a convicted felons club. And that's not it at all. And I don't think that this woman is a bad journalist. I'm not here to bash this woman. I just think that she is yet another victim of the predatory behavior of this woman. Elizabeth Holmes is a convicted felon, convicted felon. And when I read this article, yes, it was mentioned, but really she talked about a lot of the nuances of their family. She talked about how her husband, or excuse me, her partner, Mr. Evans, doesn't want to get a dad bod, so he has to go get, ex you know, he has to exercise a certain amount of times a day and whatnot. But what I really wanted to hear from the article was some remorse, some pain, talk about the victims. You know what I was really curious is why she didn't talk to some of those victims. Or maybe um, look at some of the CBS articles when we when we hear from, let's see, Rochelle Gibbons. Rochelle Gibbons was married to Ian Gibbons. He was the lead scientist. He killed himself. He died by suicide in yeah. 2013. And his wife went to lengths at CBS to talk about if her husband did not work at Theranos, that she believes he would still be alive today. What about some of the investors? At one point, this company was valued at more than $9 billion. We can look at the list of donors here, which, by the way, was all brought to light by the Wall Street Journal. You'll probably agree that the reporting was spectacular. Look at some of these donors. Walton family, they donated $150 million. Rupert Murdoch, $121 million. The DeVos family, $100 million. Carlos Slim, that's a Mexican investor, very well known. He was 30 million. This is the tip of the iceberg. As I mentioned, this woman valued $9 billion endorsements from presidents, secretaries of state, lawmakers. And when did it come crumbling down? Remember in 2018, that was when the federal indictment accused her of those 11 counts of fraud. Now, Amy did have this in the article. And, and what did she do? And I quote here. Holmes made a quick trip to Burning Man in 2018. This is just shortly after the indictment. And she says, in part, I have it written here. This is the article. Where do you go when your life's work and reputation goes up in flames? Burning Man. Miss Holmes and Mr. Evans went to the desert oasis for moneyed bohemians. She burned a tribute to Theranos. There was an incredible sense of grief because I'd give everything to it my whole life since I had been 18, she said of that period. So Leland, my question to you is, she's grieving what? What about the people who believed that they perhaps had a tumor or were suffering a miscarriage because they read their, their blood results? What about the people who donated hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars to this woman, and she went to Burning Man so she could dance in a bikini, in the desert, and process her grief. Yeah, and, and now avoids an 11-year prison sentence, at least, at least so far. Uh, my favorite Liz. I never got to interview Elizabeth Holmes, so you're my favorite Liz. The best Liz I've ever she interviewed. Elizabeth You Pran, better watch out. Liz. She'll find you. She'll find you. <laughs> 
Lord help us. Good to see you, my friend. We'll talk soon. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.